just a few dollars short of a million dollars is what the Jericho Baptist Church will need in order to complete their already started youth center. The idea of the youth center came about after watching so many of the community's youth resort to idle activities to occupy their spare time. And to eradicate such activities, the church will be building a youth center. Well, this youth center um, is being built in the community of the Bight um, on the east of the Jericho Baptist Church. And the purpose of the youth center basically is to create a safe haven for the young people of this community and for the young people of Providencialis at large. So basically be where they'll be able to come and have good wholesome fun and, and a nice um, friendly um, environment. And with the development at a standstill, the Jericho Baptist Church has decided to revitalize the project in an effort to move it a step further. Their aim is to do just that through a telethon that the church will be hosting in aid of raising enough funds to get the building completed. Well, we, we have begun um, construction on the youth center. We are now at the point of trying to get the tie beam on and, and, of course, trying to get the building completed so that our young people can use it. And the purpose of the telethon is to simply um, raise funds to assist us in, in, in completing um, this project. It's a very costly project. Um, it's going to cost much. And then um, to erect the, the, the facilities and then to put the various um, equipment inside. The telethon will be a deciding factor in when the facility will be fully completed and operational. However, the church does have an estimated time in mind in which they would like to see the building functional. We don't have a projected time per se, but we'd like to see it finish in, in, in the very near future. We want um, the young people that are young now to be able to enjoy um, the, the, the facilities here. We don't want them to be men and women and then their children enjoy the wonder with those who are young now to be able to enjoy it. And so we want to see it finish at least within the next two, two and a half years. Pastor Williams said that he hopes the Youth Center fulfills its mission as being a safe haven for God's children, as he sees so many of the children in the community slowly separating themselves from positive and godly activities. And so we want to be able to create an environment where they can come in, be able to have fun, be able to relax their minds, be able to enjoy each other's company, but, as, but at the same time, um, be away from the ills of society. And so basically, we see this as being an, an element that will be able to distract them from many of the ills that are happening within society. And we see it as being um, beneficial for this community and the Church of Israel at large. Pastor Williams said that the Youth Center is expected to operate just as the Edward Gartland Youth Center and will feature some of the very same amenities as well as programs that will be instituted. The telethon is scheduled to take place on Saturday, August 22nd, live from our WIV studios during the hours of 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. Pastor Williams encourages all to call and pledge their support as well as funds. For WIV 4 News, I'm Tian Thomas.